my palm a teacup of marine? I get this question in almost all my videos and I want to make a video today to address this question because this term has been circulated around by those unethical breeders long enough that people actually believe there are two types of Pomeranians and today I plan to put a halt to that. So my answer is, as you might have guessed, no she's not, she's just a Pomeranian and I personally think you should stay away from breeders who are trying to advertise their puppies using the term teacup Pomeranians and the reason is that there's one and only one Pomeranian dog breed and there's no such thing as teacup Pomeranians and unlike poodles where they are officially recognized by American Kennel Club as three different size varieties including miniature poodle, toy poodle and standard poodle AKC only recognizes one Pomeranian dog breed and they often weigh between 3 pounds to 7 pounds now I know there are Pomeranians that are bigger than AKC standards and they are often unofficially called a throwback Pomeranian since they usually weigh between 14 and 20 20 pounds. They are also purebred, but they are more genetically similar to their large speed type ancestors, which explains their bigger size to a standard Pomeranian nowadays. But there's nothing wrong with a throwback Pomeranian, as there are no health consequences. I wish I could say the same about Tika Pomeranian, but unfortunately, it's just a term often used as a marketing ploy by unethical breeders who lure people in with a promise that their pond's adult size will be smaller than 3 pounds, which is lower than the breed standard of three to seven pounds the breed itself doesn't exist and I mean Pomeranians as the only recognized variety by AKC are already very small and in fact they are one of the smallest among the toy breeds this is on the higher end of the breed standard as she weighs around seven pounds and as you can see here she's tiny and we have to be super careful around her all the time not to accidentally hurt her or step on her so how much smaller do you really need them to be and for what? Those teacup Pomeranians are often the result of irresponsible and unexperienced breeders trying to breed the runs of the litter together to produce a so-called teacup Pomeranian regardless of the health consequences. A runt of the litter is usually the smallest puppy of the litter and generally weaker than its litter mates. Standard Pomeranians already have many health problems of their own so imagine breeding these runs together to create even a smaller dog. Those incredibly tiny puppies often come with birth defects such as underdeveloped organs and generally have many health problems and those are more likely to develop serious breathing problems to make it worse. Those same breeders who are using the term teacup Pomeranians to advertise their puppies are often also the one who's willing to do whatever it takes to make sure their puppies stay small by giving them less nutrition than they actually need which results in a malnourished puppy. Sure they will look cuter given how tiny they are but honestly once you have a dog how cute your dog turns out will become the least of your concerns and what matters to you most is that they are happy and healthy and trust me once you become a dog parent and you form this precious irreplaceable bond with your dog nothing will make you suffer more than seeing your dog suffer it's one thing to rescue a teacup Pomeranian to save their life but it's another thing to actively look for a teacup Pomeranian as by doing so you are perpetuating the existence of those unethical breeders who are willing to put their dogs and puppies lives at just so that they can make more money. Now I know when people ask for a teacup Pomeranian, most of the time what you actually mean is that you want to get a Pomeranian that looks like Sissy or those palms that you often see in dog shows and that you don't want to get a puppy that ends up bigger than the breed standard size which is totally understandable and I'm sure after watching this video you now know that those teacup Pomeranians that you want to get are actually just normal Pomeranians. So I'm not really doing this video to shame you for using the word teacup Pomeranian. No, not at all. Don't get me wrong. An Irish person wouldn't know such nuance and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm doing this video so you know to stay away from those breeders who are advertising their puppies as teacup Pomeranians, mini Pomeranians or toy Pomeranian. Please avoid them at all costs because as a breeder they should know better than this and a reputable palm breeder would never ever use these terms. A responsible breeder will do their best to conform to the Pomeranian breed standard and will often selectively choose the healthiest and most well temperament Pomeranians that will likely mature between 3 and 7 pounds to breed for the better of the breed. That's it for today's video. I hope you've learned something new. If you're gonna get a Pomeranian soon, don't forget to check out this video where I talk about 5 common mistakes that new Pomeranian owners make.